I wanted to find a way for our students to learn how to grow and give back to our community. So when we first started this program, it was community-based. It was, uh, we were giving food to local church banks and food banks, and they were distributing it. And we've now progressed until we, we run a school business. You all eat the lettuce? Oh, yes, ma'am. And we sell it to the cafeteria in there. And we sell, we harvested about seven cases yesterday and three cases last Friday. And um, we sell them for about 15 to 20 dollars per case. And we've sold, we've made a good bit of money so far. And we're, our farm to table system is just really starting to grow and take off. Well, very good. Look forward to eating some of it. So it goes from seedling to finished product about 42 to 45 days. Uh, and it's optimal growing conditions. We regulate the temperature, we regulate the uh, nutrients, and we also can have no pest. So we don't have any, any problems associated with growing outside. On a grander scale, these operations uh, can grow about six times more food per square feet than a conventional grown in the ground garden. We produce anywhere from seven to 10 cases of fresh lettuce per week to go to our lunchroom. And of course, I want to say, if people aren't aware, I want to thank the governor and Wes and Clay. Of course, we realized two years ago that the school systems weren't buying food from our local farmers. And so we went to them, the governor, and asked if they'd try us with a little seed money, $120,000. And we said, we'll go back and reimburse any school system that buys local. And y'all school system took advantage of that. Your child nutrition was one of our leaders in doing that. And so I, it's just so good to see local food going in a school system because it was not. It was not two years ago. Those things just don't happen by chance. And so we're real proud uh, of the amount of local food now being bought from local farmers or school systems going to feed our children.